Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and today what I have for you guys is a video on how to make the Pharaoh Overpower. Now I made a video for this on the Vesper and it went completely off and the Weevil and now a lot of people are requesting me in the comments of those. People are DMing me saying, can you make one for the Pharaoh? Because the Pharaoh is a gun that used to be the top gun. This used to be the best and uh, this gun is still pretty good but when the game first came out I would use this all the time and it was freaking amazing and now they've kind of nerfed it. They made the automatic SMGs a bit more powerful than the burst ones but this gun still can be very effective if you guys run it with these attachments. Basically, my How to Make Something Overpowered series gives you guys the classes, but most importantly, what's the most part, important part of the classes for these guns is the attachments. And these are the attachments because the, the perks and stuff are going to be pretty standard for any class, but the attachments are the ones that are going to be different on every single gun, and depending on what that gun is used for and what that gun, its weaknesses and strengths are. And the class that I have for this one or the attachments that I have are very deadly. So usually I have three attachments, and today that is the case again. The three attachments I'm rocking with the Pharaoh are going to be the Long Barrel and the Quick Draw and the Fast Mags. Now the reason for all these, and this works so well together, the Quick Draw is basically for the fact that this gun, you really want to aim down sights with it, and it is sort of an SMG that if you don't get the first shot, you're most likely going to lose the gunfight unless you get a lucky one burst. It's usually going to be a reliable two burst kill if you guys will get some lucky one burst, but you do need that Quick Draw because getting the first shot is so much more important with this SMG than it is with something like the Vesper that can just melt even if you're second shot you need the first shot with this gun now the next attachment is the long barrel obviously this gun has a bit more range to it it's not fully automatic you can control the recoil there's very little recoil there's no reason for a grip uh, no really reason for a sight on it I mean I used to use it with the quick draw when the game first came out but uh, there's no really reason for a sight with it unless you prefer I, I don't mean the quick draw with the elo sight unless you prefer the elo sight or the red dot I think it works perfectly fine with no sight but if you do want to use a sight on it there's no big deal but this thing works so well with that quick draw and with that long barrel it adds that extra range an extra about 30 percent range which is deadly and lets you get those one bursts at a little bit longer range and definitely makes your three burst range a lot less like you know what i mean this gun is going to have one burst ranges two burst ranges and three burst ranges but with that long barrel it's going to make it a lot better and make that two burst range a lot longer and then fast mags because it is shooting i think this one shoots off a of four bullets in every burst and you have 40 so that means it's only going to be 10 bursts but with that fast mags you have a super fast reload and this thing is absolutely deadly this makes the feral very powerful and freaking overpower this makes the gun deadly now as far as um attach or perks i mean you can usually use the same thing i like to run six cents with this thing then ghost or flak jacket but you definitely want to have scavenger on this gun because you're going to run out of ammo with it especially since you don't have a secondary and then your third one is up to personal preference either blast suppressor or um attack mask or you can even run awareness especially if you're playing like this i was playing some tdm you really awareness is very useful on game modes where you can hear and there's not as crowded as a ground war lobby awareness can do very well so if you guys will enjoy this uh, gameplay here it is uh the tdm they raised the score limit for the weekend to 100 i was grinding out but this is deadly bro the pharaoh i still have a lot of fun with it after i found the long barrel is the most important attachment as well as the quick draw and then the fast mags is very good but you can afford to, fat to swap that out if you guys think something else is better thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy this one uh check out my video upload earlier today with a ton of tips on black ops 3 especially some nuketown tips thank you guys for watching enjoy the video uh, drop some support on it drop some likes on it subscribe for cookie and don't looky I'm out. Peace.